<clears throat> okay, I think that we're all set up. Um, hello, everybody of the internet. It's, of course, Anime God here, and uh, may not be a lot of people on the stream as of yet, but that's okay. Uh, if you're watching this from the past or just rewatching the stream, it's already over. Good morning, good night, or good evening. And today, we're back with the exact same game. Uh, if you remember from last time, we did actually finish an ending. We found out that our friend Lapino is a traitor. So we're gonna have to use this information to continue from the beginning and unlock under other endings. So we're gonna wait for others to come in here because I did promise the way that I was gonna play this series is ask the audience to choose the endings that I get, like the choices, and then I'll just do the normal skill-based gameplay. So we're gonna wait for them and yeah. At about eight minutes, I will start. Hello Glee, welcome to the stream, I hope you stick by, I, I'm letting the audience choose the endings, if you don't know this game, basically you play and you unlock a whole bunch of endings, we learned that our friend is a traitor and we died at the end in a very bad way, so basically it's our job to replay, unlock all the other truths, and find the good ending, are you gonna stay? Okay, well that's great. Um, I guess I can start it up now then, now that I got somebody in here. Let's start it up. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens are scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, 
His old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course. Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Okay, these are the choices. And by the way, I'm unplugging my mic because I went back to my old stream. The wind was hitting my mic a lot, and that was kind of annoying. So I'm just going to unplug my mic for like the story proportion of it. But here are the choices. We go back and we save the friend, which is a traitor. But uh, here we can get the outline of the Sky Ripper, which is basically like a the gives you the power of a god by what the story is telling me. So we can either go for that, or a temple has risen up, and we can go there, kill the ravens, and you know, take whatever is in there. So I'm just gonna wait for you to decide, and I'll pick whatever it is. So save friend, pursue the power of a god, or explore the temple. child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the lost gods. Had he, somehow, summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renata could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. Okay, so we're about to pursue the basically like the outline of the power of the guide. The island, Hold on, I'll be out shut up. Feeling a bit curious. Was Lapino still waiting to be rescued? No, he was probably drinking champagne with the ravens. Did ravens drink champagne? Probably not. Did rabbits? Probably not. Oddly thirsty. Come to think of it. Oh my god. And he chosen the Sky Ripper. Because the audience. He plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? I don't know. Can we? Can we? Sorry if the wind is hitting it again. I don't know. I'm not moving around a lot. It's just the way that my microphone is set up. So sorry about that. But let's get into it. Uh, by the way, if you want to ask random questions, start up conversations, I'm totally fine with that. All up for it. More conversation, the merrier. Besides, you don't want to see me sitting here silent. Skills. Like, skills to pay the bills. Sneak tight, Lord Renato. I like how this game talks in third person sometimes. 
Oh, well, that's good. It's just last time I, I heard it, and I was like, why does it keep on doing that? Oh! That nice! I like that. The people who had built this castle, did they even know what monstrous weapon lay hidden within their walls? The Sky Ripper could destroy anything it touched, or so the legend said. As the Transcendent Emperor had fought the Lost Gods, thousands and thousands had died. But Bernardo had been through wars. The only merciful war was a short one. Well, I'm glad you cho chose this ending. Well, I'm glad that you chose this uh, path because I've never actually seen the path of, of the god yet. So I'm really interested in that. Oh crap, here we go, here we go. The skills, the skills, the skills. Let's do it. And sorry for the button smashing, gotta do that. Who am I gonna... I need you to throw into you. There we go. Boop. Boop. There we go. The skills to pay the bills. Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? True, true. Oh, fuck that. I do enough reading in school. I ain't about that life, fam. Probably gonna read that off camera. Ain't got no time for that. Oh! <laughs> just, just a death trap in there. Dead. 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 Nice. Like I said, you can ask questions if you want. Get it? You cannot see me slipping, bro. You will not see me slipping, bro. You will not see me slipping! It is called Stories. Literally. It's literally just called Stories, The Path of Destinies. There's someone I, someone else in the stream, but they're not really texting. Ah, a puzzle. We're not alone to puzzles. Except we couldn't figure them out. On the other Get hand, wrecked. if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from something good. Uh, which one can I break shields with my basic attack? Oh, that was something else. That was like a buff I got. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for that buff again. Okay. I think here it is. Yeah. The thing that holds the... This is not actually the power of the gods, I don't think. This is like the... It's like the thing that holds the core. Because the core is very dangerous. Last time we went after the core and we got sick. Sky Ripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. 
But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Okay, here are the choices. So we can go get Zenobia. Uh, by what I heard before last time, Zenobia is our character's like best friend. And she was really close to people, but not us. She would like always talk to us and all that. But one day we lost touch with her. And apparently she got adopted by the Emperor. So now she's the Emperor's daughter. And she's a very high class mage. And apparently, I don't know why this option is here, but... Uh, basically we can choose to abandon the whole god quest and go and meet up with her, capture her, talk to her, whatever. Probably gonna have a choice for either those three. But, we can either go and try to see her, or we can pursue the heart of a god and obtain the power of a god. I'll leave it up to you. his old friend Lapino to get the armature and the armature was useless by itself only a series of coils and wheels war demanded sacrifices and he would make more before the end he would have to choose the greatest good no matter how much it cost him Zenobia well he would see her sooner or later across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over he was sure of that the power was in the core obviously he had to get the core. Yeah, if you want a tiebreaker, I'll I'll help you, give you my opinion personally, but at the end of the day, I'll let you choose, you know. It's fine by me. But we're pursuing the, the heart of a god. Again, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for, you know, so big and so participating. Old. They'd been there before he was born, and they'd be there after he'd passed into legend. Was he confronting his own unimportance? What had got into him? He was no philosopher. Anyway, who cares? He was plenty important. He was a hero, and soon he'd prove it. Uh, sorry, I got distracted, guys. I'm back. I can't get through here. Wrong sword. The heck? Do I have to grapple? Oh, okay. What were these poles exactly? Parking meters from the time of the lost gods? Bruh, don't even. Wow. Parking meters for the lost gods. Okay, I'm done. Oh, they got me slipping. They caught me slipping. I'm trying to get this guy. The only way I can get him off guard. Okay. Goodbye. The skills to pay the bills, guys. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. Oh no, no. Oh! Oh! Now oh, oh. be more patient. Those were not skills to pay the bills. That's painful. Painful, I tell you. There were fewer and fewer trees. There were only these huge crystalline growths. Had those been here before? He no longer heard birds except for the feverish cawing of the raven when they attacked. He couldn't smell the small animals of the forest. 
Oh no, I may not live, guys. I may not live. Ooh, wish me luck, guys. This was an unhealthy place. I can't get hit once, and I still gotta break this guy's guard. Bills. Bills are paid. The bills are paid. Give me this chest. Really nice chest. You should take one home, you thought. Physical resistance. I have I have a buff now. That's good. The bills, guys. I'm never go, going through any financial issues ever. I went the wrong way too. That was like a bonus way. And when you get like sent back like that through the teleport thing, that means you went the wrong way. You know, it's just a chest way. I think I did this puzzle before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like of boop. Of there was a puzzle. You couldn't expect the transcendent emperor to bury a boop. god's eye in a leather sack where anyone could pick it up. And then boop. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> I know I got the skills. This one's hard. It's like, yeah. Okay. My timing's all types of fucked up. Got to Oh, okay. Come in handy in a pinch. Oh, I got mana. I can heal now. Okay. It doesn't heal that much, but it does something. You know what's gonna happen. You can't just throw a big space at me like that and not expect me to. Give me that. Yep. How do you like my new skill? Oh, 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 I can lag in this game. Did everybody see that? Oh my god, don't kill me, lag. Please, please don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please, please, please. Well, it's not gonna end here. No, not here. Not. Oh, okay. The skills, skill mode activated. I'm in debt right now. I'm in debt. <laughs> gotta pay the bills. Just gotta pay the bills. Gotta pay the bills. Cock off for the win! Get your shield taken My thumbs hurt. Ten health and I have no mana to heal. Cool. Cool story, bro. Okay, here's the core. Power of a god. I'm super hurt. Oh gee. Here we go. Hopefully you don't die. But I'm gonna unplug my mic. Let's get ready for this. The eye of a god. The 20-sided core made him feel physically sick. Once he had sneaked into a temple of the dark arts and he hadn't liked what he smelt and saw there, this felt like that. As quick as he could, he wrangled the icosahedron into the armature. The wheels began to spin, then glow. The sick feeling quickly spun away. Now he only felt sad. He had lost good friends for this war apparatus. Hmm, maybe Lapino wasn't such a good friend. Yeah, that made him feel better. He carried his prize back to the Farfarer. Now, yet to make his next move. There was a key Imperial outpost on the Nexus. If this really was some sort of super weapon, he could use it to wreak havoc on the enemy. And if it wasn't, well, better to know that before the final battle. But maybe he should show it to some scientists first. There was an observatory on the Nexus. Maybe he should go there before he fired it. Okay, to summarize like I always do, should we take the eye of a god? You know, one of the weapon, the weapon, the super weapon that we literally just got. Should we uh, take it to the scientists to quote unquote understand it better? Or should we just do a hands-on thing and just test it out by killing a whole bunch of birds? Which one to your choice?
test it out. Okay. Renato had never been much of a student. At sword through school, he'd never read the books, just looked at the pictures. Hmm. And Zenobia. But weapons he understood. His guts told him that the Sky Ripper would work great. He would use it to take out the Imperial outpost. And what's the worst that could happen? The thing wouldn't work, and then he'd take it to the scientists. Right? <laughs> exactly. As he set out down the path, Renato wondered why the parts of the Sky River had only surfaced now, thousands of years after the Transcendent Emperor had discarded it. This, Emperor, this game reminds me of Skylanders. Third, had performed terrible, bloodthirsty rituals to invoke the Lost Gods. Perhaps that was bringing up lost artifacts. How perfect then that the Sky River would reappear to be his destruction. Test the Sky Ripper on Imperial Outpost. Tight corner, tight corner, corner, tight corner. As a matter of fact, ooh, and you're gone. Skills, bro. Skills. Thank you again for staying. Make sure to leave a like if you're enjoying this so far. Subscribe if you want to get notifications on my next stream. And yeah. Yeah, it looks a lot like Skylanders. Yeah, it really does. It feels like Skylanders too, just the way that it looks and all that. And the, and the way that commentary works and all that. Yeah, I used to be a big fan of Skylanders. I used to, all the time, just Christmas. Oh, let me get Skylanders, let me get Skylanders. I used to have Skylanders Giant, Swap Force, Normal Skylanders. Oh my god, you don't even know. I was like the biggest nerd. Oh my god, just going in over here. Oh, ow, scratch that. Not going anywhere. Just, just a lot of dying is happening. I like the concept of, you know, fighting. And then you have the whole story-based war. So, by what hour, we should have an ending. And we have to get... Three more endings, three more endings to a secret, and we should unlock something. Like, if we unlock all three endings, we should unlock the key ending. We need to put all the endings that we got together to get the actual good endings. He was tired of slaughtering ravens. Maybe it was time to test out the new weapon. Yes. He turned a knob on the Sky River. It made strange mechanical noises. The wheels spun faster. It began to hum. The Sky Ripper was following his every step. Nice. At least it acknowledged him as the master. But there yeah. was no trigger. How was he supposed to fire it? Fire, he said. Nothing happened. Well, maybe it just... This better work. Up. After all, it hadn't been fired in thousands of years. Come on, it's gotta work. And if it doesn't work, just like he said, we're just gonna take it to the scientists if you want to. Smashing things was fun. Hopefully it works. Come on, where are the ravens when you need them? Oh, gems. Uh, yeah, the buffs. These are like my buffs and all that. So, let's get physical resistance by 20%. And let's see if we can make a sword. No, we cannot. Get him, core! The thing looks like the fat boomer from Left 4 Dead. Oh, did, hold on, is it? Oh, yo, you get one-shotted. Oh, go in. Okay. Should have named this the power of a god. Oh my god, they're, they're just, uh. 
The Sky Ripper was making a whining noise now, and its wheels were spinning so fast he could no longer see them. Renato had a thought. Please? He asked. The Sky Ripper began to glow. Boom! The outpost burst into flame. What? Ravens flapped out screaming, wings on fire. <laughs> the base was his. The fire speaker toad came hopping out. Renato! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. Don't use the Sky Ripper! It will destroy the world! Yeah, sure it will, cracked Renato. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. He'll tell you the same thing. Oh, she would say that. That sounded sensible. Why did she always have to sound sensible all the time? Oh, it was infuriating. Of course, she would say that. He was supposed to hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the Council so the Rebels could actually win the war. But what if she was right? Damn it. Okay. We either... Oh, okay. Uh, Sky Ripper, he shouldn't bring the, this weapon to the Rebel. He should... Okay. He should bring the weapon to the rebel base and just win the war. So we can either A, listen to Z Zenobia, which yes, was our old friend, but keep in mind, she is the emperor's daughter, so, which is the emperor who we're fighting. So and all that, I guess. Or we can just take this to the rebel base right now, you know, the ones that we work for and just win the war, quote unquote, what it says. So check if this will actually destroy the world and end up just killing us at the same time or just win the war right now and ignore the warning it's up to you guys i know a hard decision Okay. Just this once, he would not let Zenobia get into his head with her logic and her wisdom and her appeals to reason. He was a fox. He'd go with his instincts, and it would all work out like it always did. Oh, he was sounding like a reckless idiot, even to himself. But if there was one thing Renato could never bring himself to do, it was turn back on a decision he'd made. Nice. Imperials were flapping and cawing all around the ruins. They must be panicking with rumors flying of the super weapon. Maybe they hoped to find and destroy the base before he could put the Sky Ripper into action. The Sky Ripper was whining and heating up. It would be time to use that energy soon. This thing is very powerful. One shot everything. Okay. Hope to see you soon. Okay, I'm gonna pause the stream for a second. I just have to do something.
Okay, you're back. You know, I am anime god at the end of the day, so you know, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but. Skills, skills. Don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. Talking about this was a fantastic weapon. Ravens burst into flames with just a touch of its killer beam. He was tempted to leave it on all the time, but he didn't want to accidentally slice off some council toad's head or tongue. She'd been trying to distract him. Well, this time, maybe no one was going to distract him. Yeah, she is the Although emperor's daughter, so. Freaked him out to cut them. Oh, got got ballsy there. Long stairs, so he was close to the rebel base. How are there big ravens that were fighting, and then you got the small, little, tiny, normal ravens that fly? I can't tell which one is good or bad. It was awesome. <gasps> oh. I am not dying to you. Please, can we just be there? Oh my god, is that boss? Okay, that door was looking kind of suspicioso. Okay, this ain't no door, so. Swiper, no swiping. Okay, I'm plugging my mic. As he headed towards the council chamber, Renato felt everyone watching him. You saved the rebellion, said the council speaker. Frankly, we were afraid you'd turn aside to see that idiot Lapino. Not bloody likely, Renato told them, feeling he was maybe being a bit harsh at the poor mad rabbit. Oh, uh, sorry, just wanted to explain something. Uh, you see that little rabbit symbol? Whenever that pops up, that means you're using your prior knowledge of what happened last time. Like I explained before, what happened last time is our friend Lapino basically stabbed us in the back when we tried to save him, and he ba literally killed us. So we're, every time that pops up, we're using our prior knowledge of that, so. You never make sacrifices, he said. You're probably not doing the right thing. The speaker nodded. Are you ready to lead the charge? Let's roll, he said. With grim satisfaction, Renato set sail for the fleet. The Sky Ripper had lost its wine. It was humming now, as if it had taken some time to seat properly. He had always been irresponsible. This time, he'd done the right thing, made the hard decisions. He was a real hero. He hadn't let himself be distracted by old friends or old lovers turned enemies. Finally, he could be proud of himself. Step back. Wait, Zenobia was a lover? What? It ain't say nothing about that. Hold on, fam. Jesus Christ. There is a difference between an old friend and an old lover. God. He was ready. So was Skyrim. The Skyrim had a will of its own. It picked out its own targets and set them on fire. Yep. Now, this was going to be a short battle. He would set the ships on fire if he didn't need them to get to the Emperor. He even wondered if he'd see Zenobia or if she'd flee. <laughs> Wouldn't she be proud of him? At least, a bit of respect. He'd become an all conquering hero. Hey, stop tooting your own horn, Mr. Flashy Flashy. Just because we all know that you and two used to be a thing doesn't mean you need to be tooting your own horn over here, okay? Oh, gee. What else could you hook? Are people still here? 
Remember, I can't continue this if nobody's here. So I need to, you need to give me a little, you know. You remind me that you're still here. I'm just gonna wait and see if they're still there. There's no point if you guys can't pick. Gah. Low hashtag. One here. Ain't no one said it was gonna be easy. Ah, just waiting for somebody to get in here so we can continue this. If you're new or if you just joined, I'm doing a series where it's like combat and stuff, but also it's a telltale game. If you don't know what telltale game is, it's like uh, it takes choices and it and it affects the outcome of the end. And basically, like the viewers. Uh, Type in comments what I should do for the choices and let's see what type of ending to get. That's why I'm waiting for somebody to join. Finally, beautiful nightmares made it. Did you hear my... Did you hear my explanation by any chance? You're going to be helping me making choices in this game. So there, beautiful nightmare. Remember, you can ask me questions, do whatever. There was a parchment on the signpost. It was from her. Every time you fire, you risk the destruction of the universe. That's insane. We surrender. A trick? Oh. Maybe she really believed it. He could hear horns blaring the retreat. Maybe it was true. Maybe they had one. Maybe we won. Still there, beautiful nightmares? Guess not. Well, whatever, I will continue on. No more waiting.
<sighs> Sorry guys, I guess I'm just gonna have to make decisions because not like a lot of people are joining so I'll just make uh, the, the, the decisions I guess Zenobia, wearing the white robes of surrender. She came and kneeled before him. Why didn't you listen to me? I was trying to save you too. You're the enemy, he said. I was never your enemy, Renato. Aww. Then she spoke a terrible word and made a gesture with her hand. She stopped moving, covered in frost, and he wondered why she'd frozen herself. Then the Sky Ripper froze. And then, for a moment, he felt very cold and discovered that he couldn't move. The next thing he knew, the sun was a giant, monstrously red. It took up half the sky, and he was in a parched red desert. And then, he was on fire. The hell Renard was going on? The book. He was still alive, again. And still only flying away from burning Ubar. Had he lived that adventure? Or only dreamt it? Had he really died? What the hell happened? So real, not like a dream at all. And he'd lost again. Oh, he hated that. But he had made different choices. Oh boy. And he'd lost in a different way. It was the book, wasn't it? She has feelings for us. Show you your destiny. This. This is showing you different ways to die miserably. Thanks a bunch of book, he thought. Bruh. These were destinies that he did not have to fulfill. But he'd learned another truth. Zenobia still had feelings for him. Yeah, I guess she does. No. Her freezing us and all. But, yeah, since nobody's really joining, from now on I'm going to do a series by myself, you know, not letting anybody really decide that that much. But, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, uh, if you made it this far, thank you. Remember to leave a like. Helps me out. Gets my videos out there. Subscribe to get notifications for my videos and more. And, like always, keep on staying gods and goddesses, my friends.